I was on Facebook the other day, and I saw something that made me think. That must have hurt. Shut up. Anyway, someone had posted, what would you do if someone told you you could do anything you wanted and you wouldn't fail? Uh-huh. Well, the next guy writes back, I would fail. But I thought you couldn't fail. That's right. She said you can't fail. But if you attempt to make something fail when you're guaranteed to succeed, you've created a paradox. I don't get what you're saying. Well, if your goal is to fail and you succeed, then you have successfully failed. But in successfully failing, you have successfully completed your goal, thus causing you to fail. But because you, you're fulfilling your goal of failing meant that you failed, you actually won. But because you won, you actually failed which means you win and lose. I think you might be retarded. Hey now, I've discovered a paradox that could theoretically destroy the universe. Seriously, you should get yourself tested. How can something be both a success and a failure at the same time? Just thinking about it's enough to make your head spin. Because it's impossible. How can something be both a success and a failure, good and bad? Well, say I have a can of tennis balls, brand new. I love the smell of tennis balls, but by opening the can to enjoy the smell, I've destroyed what I loved, good and bad. That doesn't quite work. Nothing can be anything other than what it is. A fish is just a fish. A pregnant fish will give birth to a fish. A pregnant horse will give birth to a horse. And a pregnant woman will give birth to a human being. Your act wasn't good or bad, it was just an act. So, you assume that nothing is right or wrong? No, in fact, I mean the opposite. There is a right and wrong. Everyone agrees that there is. Relativists don't. Yeah, punch them in the face and they'll quickly decide that something's wrong. That's not my point. My point is, two plus two will always equal four. One cannot equal anything other than one. Actually, I know a mathematical equation that proves one equal to two. Don't even start. It's not my point. I was saying about the tennis ball can, that the act in and of itself is not either right or wrong, it is the consequences of the act that make it right or wrong. So murder isn't wrong? No, it is, but only because of the consequence, ending a human life. That makes it wrong. So the act of opening the tennis ball can, not either right or wrong, does have a favorable and an unfavorable consequence. Hmm. You know what I think? I think you've proven to me how something can be both a success and a failure. You may make sense to yourself, but anyone else here, if they could hear you, would think you're a total moron. So just by that, I say you've proven how something can be both good and bad. There you go. OK, fine. You win. I do? Yep. And here's your prize. Hey, that's not a good prize. It is for me.